we're going to enter a new era in identification, I think, in police work and, and where communities of all sizes have the capacity to do the kind of identification work that are going to be required by the criminal justice and jurisprudence system of, of the future. It's interesting to note that we use as our standard when we will see that happen is when all police departments can work up to the standards of the Department of Public Safety. And this came about by problems in a big city police department whose idea whose ID processes were not up to the standards that we have here in Muleshoe. And I think that's particularly important. Uh, we're going to look at diversion programs and community-based programs to see to it that the people that we pay 40 some odd dollars a day to be incarcerated and make sure those are the ones that need to be there and make sure that criminal justice is also economic for the people of the state of Texas. And so it's a real honor for me to be here today to congratulate the people of the city of Muleshoe because you're getting the law enforcement that you deserve and it's about the best that you can get in the state of Texas. And I'm very proud of that as being in the 431st district and I appreciate being able to be here and share it with you today. Thanks, Chief. Good at night, uh, literally, especially in the last couple of days. It's morning has become night, the night has become day. Uh, trying to get ready for this and a few other things. Uh, for everybody, my staff, if you would, uh, I know you're scattered around where you at. Uh, back in the back, we have Detective Cassie Pringle, Sergeant Kirk in the back.